you know, New York is segregated. New York is a segregated city. But there's more intermixing, I think, at work, racially and ethnically, among working class people than there is among rich people and middle class people. One of the things I like the most about doing this work is getting to be in the canopy of trees. Initially, you know, I thought it's just seven minutes. But then the more I thought about it, I'm like, but it's not just seven minutes. It's seven minutes, but it's seven minutes of free labor for 200 people. That equals however many hours they are getting of free labor. If I don't have like a, a job job where I get a weekly paycheck, I'm out hustling. I've been looking for a job for almost a year now at this point. Um, and so I haven't really got any hits. And so here I am today, out here in the streets selling cannabis uh, and, and pre-rolls to people. Like everybody, I grew up with the assumption that working more meant that you would be more productive, more successful, etc. It's been increasingly challenging to think about alternatives. There's a rule. It says cheap, quick, good, choose two. What I realize is that when you have all three, it's exploitation. And if we're always pushing for cheap, fast, good, we're actually pushing for exploitation. I never understood the difference between artists and working class people. There's a disconnect, and I think it mostly has to do with uh, classism. Anytime people are taking action together, we are transformed by that. And even if it doesn't mean that we've like rebuilt the labor movement through like retail stores in New York, that's certainly a step forward.